What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and today we're doing an unboxing and review of the Busby Air Warriors Walking Dead Carl's Revolver. It's a pretty sweet looking blaster, and I can't wait to get into it. So, this is a very similar pistol to like a strong arm or a disruptor in the Nerf brand. It comes with six suction cup uh, Busby style darts, which is pretty cool. Take a look at the back of the box. Basically on the back it's just telling you how to function the blaster and it gives you some information about what darts it takes. It's a micro dart blaster so it's compatible with all Busby micro darts and actually Nerf micro darts also, I do believe. And then it's giving you some social media stuff here on the back which will be linked in the description box below. So if you're interested in checking out Busby on social media, check that out in the description. And yeah, let's get this thing open. So I did receive this product for free from Busby Toys, and I want to give them a big shout out and a thank you for that. I really appreciate it. It allows me to bring you guys a review, but this will be a completely honest review and will not change my opinion on the blaster. So without further ado, let's get this open. Always cut away from yourself. Wow. There we go. Woo. That was one tough unboxing. <laughs> All right. We have freed the blaster, sort of. <laughs> there we go. And then let me go ahead and I guess I could have just twisted it off. That would have been smart. But, you know, got to use the knife. And then let's get the darts out here. All right, we're loaded up. Pretty cool. The darts actually feel like very nice quality. I really like the foam here. It's pretty it's tough. It's pretty cool. So that's a good thing. Uh, the darts do stick out a bit further than I really like. Um, I would like to see a bit more barrel there to protect the dart while they're in the chamber so they don't get bent and whatnot. And it usually helps performance a tad when the barrel length is a tad bit longer and has a good barrel fit. But uh, this doesn't have a great barrel fit, to be honest. It just has uh, posts in there. It's pretty loose. But uh, well, let's go ahead and fire it off and see what kind of performance we get. That's got some pop. That's good. To be expected from Busby to have good performing blasters out of the box, and this does not disappoint, it seems like. So that is pretty good. So it does rotate when you prime it, so that's nice. You can just rotate around just like that, which is pretty cool. And then you can fire whenever you get the dart there. I like that. You can just rotate the barrel around with the prime so that's pretty cool uh, grip is very comfortable I really like that so yeah I mean it has the big Walking Dead logo on there so if you enjoy Walking Dead which would be I guess the main reason why you'd purchase this blaster but it does seem to perform well so it could be a good choice for anybody that's looking for a cool pistol I'm not sure about the uh, numbers here on the side that's kind of a weird choice to have those showing like that and then black on against the white so they pop out quite a bit so I'm not sure why they went with that, but uh, but yeah, I think uh, it's a very comfortable blaster. I really like this big top prime. It's very comfortable for your hand. It has, gives, gives you some places to put your fingers there so you get, you get a good grip on it. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Seems to have really good power for a pistol, and I think it's a pretty nice pistol. I uh, can't wait to go out and shoot this out on the range and put it over the chronograph. So uh, let's go ahead and do that now. Okay. We're gonna see what we can get on the chronograph here and the range, and we're gonna try to do it in one go. Um, this is level with my shoulder, so when I shoulder this, hopefully we can get good readings and range tests at the same time, kind of make things go a little quicker. So let's see. I got uh, six Busby suction cup darts loaded up that it comes with there, and then after I finish these, we'll try six Elite darts. Sixty-nine. Air, 100, 57, <clears throat> bit of a difference, 68, 89, and now we'll try some elite darts. Those were kind of all over the place. That's kind of strange. 74. Dublet 74, 73, 
71. 74. Error. All right, well, more consistent. Uh, definitely right around that elite performance, maybe a little higher in the upper 70s. It seems like, you know, mostly, especially with the elite darts, which is what we should compare it to because that's what we compare elite darts to. So, you know, different weighted darts are gonna go differently. So let's see what kind of ranges we get. Shortest one is an elite dart here, just short of, basically it's uh, 25 feet, six inches. So, and then a few up here, just short of 28, uh, 28 feet. Elite dart at 29. Uh, probably the majority is right around here between 32 and 33 feet or 31 and 33 feet. There's a big grouping there. And then the furthest ones came up here are around 40 feet. Just the furthest one there, 41, I believe, unless I'm missing one. So I think that's it. Seems like it has a lot of power, but the darts did seem to be going down really quickly. So if you catch the wind right, I'm sure it could even get better range. There's basically no breeze here today. So uh, a little bit disappointing in the ranges, but I think the power's there, and uh, I think it's a, a decent performing pistol. All right, I think this pistol's pretty awesome. It was getting really good FPS. Uh, the ranges were a little less than I expected considering the FPS, but I think it's got a good amount of pop, and I think it's a pretty sweet pistol. I really like the big style top prime. I think that's uh, really nice and really easy to grip, so that's really nice. The looks of the blaster is okay. Uh, nothing amazing in my opinion, but uh, not bad either, and I think it definitely functions well. This blaster really only has distressing on the grip area. I wanted to point that out. It's hard to see with the shiny plastic, and you really don't notice it unless you, you maybe you would paint it and accent that, but something that's cool that they've added in to these blasters, I think. But yeah, I think it's a very comfortable blaster, and I think it's a cool pistol. I think if you like the Walking Dead brand, I think this is something that you could consider picking up because I think it's a, definitely a decent pistol and uh, works well. And I, I would have to say it's a, a, you know, a purchasable blaster. It's not, it's definitely usable. So that's been my review of the Walking Dead Carl's Revolver. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. And as always, peace out, guys.